um, from 1920s Buffalo Guy. For Gavin and Chrissy, please have Jim Goad on your shows. For the love of Goad, the sharpest and most brutally honest social critic of our times. Wow, that's high praise. He's also the greatest writer of our time. I cannot recommend enough Redneck Manifesto. It really is. It should be required reading in schools. It would be in a sane world. But he talks about so much shit that no one goes near, like white slavery, the Irish slaves that were brought over. And they were not just indentured servants. That's a lie. That is being completely cut out of history. In fact, the New York Times had an article called The Myth of White Slavery. <coughs> it's the origin of the word spirits with booze, spirited away. They would steal bums off the street. It's the origin of the word kidnapping. This It was common practice to steal disenfranchised people from Britain and throw them on fucking ships. But they don't exist. And the only reason they didn't pick cotton, they did. They would die in the heat. They were literally white trash. They would pile up these garbage slaves. Black slaves used to make white slave jokes because they were so useless in the fields. And Jim Go documents all of that in the Redneck Manifesto. Money back guarantee. Ooh. You will love it. Okay. All right. I'm going to get that then. Right. Oh, but, you know, you can't talk about that because uh, whites are never victims and uh, everybody else is. is yeah. Did you see? I was just researching this, actually, in that they talk about missing white girl syndrome. Oh, yeah. What, who? Joy Reid said that. Was that her? Yeah. And she's like, why doesn't the media ever cover missing blacks? I don't know, bitch. You're the media. Yeah. Go cover it. Put a, put a note in somewhere. But, you know, I was looking up things like the Long Island Railroad Massacre, where this racist Jamaican guy killed five whites and one Asian just because he hated white people. There was uh, Shannon Christian and Christopher Newsom who were gang raped by a group of blacks and they they raped them to death. They poured bleach down her throat, lit her body on fire, executed him on a railroad. There was... Um, uh, that Smalley cop who shot Justine Damon. No one talks about that. It was, it was our George Floyd. A black cop shot a white woman for no reason. No riots, no nothing. And he's getting released because they say the trial wasn't fair. Missy McLaughlin, she was gang raped by guys who said they were going to kill a white woman that day. So you talk about missing white woman syndrome. How about murdered white people syndrome? Yeah. And I think a lot of white media doesn't go near it. Not just because they're scared of fomenting racial strife, but they literally can't stomach these murders because they're so sadistic. They don't want to lose viewers who are watching the news at dinner time. Yeah, that's a really good point, too. You said about, like, why can't she, a person who works in media, highlight it? Like, you could spend, you could use your whole Twitter account just for retweeting missing people. Um yeah. I oh, think that's... people, I think they just wanted a break from all the COVID stuff and the vaccine stuff. Well, it's also an unusual thing. Like all these Native American women who were lost, they're in abusive relationships. They're addicted to drugs. They escape their their uh, stalker violent acts, and they don't want to be on the books. They don't want to be seen. With a lot of the black girls, they're like 20. They get into prostitution. They're not some innocent girl who was picked up in the middle of the night. That does happen in South Central, but it's Mexican gangs. So the media doesn't want to go near that. But this was an unusual, very public couple. They had a vlog. They were internet famous. And they were talking about how wonderful their life's going to be. And then one day, he shows up at the back at the house without her. Yeah, back That's fucking that. weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were this perfect Instagram couple. They had so – each one – it's not like one of them was hiding the other from their social media. There was tons of video and photos of them together. And I thought it's interesting, like, the other kind of – I don't understand why somebody would, like, just live in a van for their whole <laughs> life if they could choose differently. But these other van lifer people had come across their van and seen them and I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a genre. There's plenty of people who do it and, and, and document it. And those guys did it and they – I've never heard of this before. Have you where a couple goes on a fun vacation, documents every day, and then he shows up at home? It's yeah. not because she was fucking white. Oh, she had to stay to go. She was going shopping. Uh, she took too long in the store. <laughs> what do you think happened with them? What's your best guess? I think that, yeah, I mean, they were definitely fighting. She was definitely in tears, which means, like, it's a lot of fighting. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe he pushed her off a cliff or like she tripped and fell off a cliff and he was just like, oh, that's real messy. I'm going to go like I think he got something happened. He got scared and like left instead of like, I'm going to stay. And I think they forgot to pack enough water. They were at the top of a hot mountain and they got into a fight. They were dehydrated. They were being irrational. She said, fuck you. I, this is over. We're done. It's over. And he said, good, I'm glad. And she goes, and he goes, I can't wait to meet someone else. Someone who's not a fucking headache like you. And she goes, I knew you were cheating on me. Why am I not cheating? And then she started scratching him and he goes, get the fuck off of me. And he shoved her off the cliff. And then he ran home. Maybe they were doing a lot of Adderall too, a mm -hmm. lot of speed. Cause he was able to drive all the way home. I think he did it in one stint too. Damn. So he shoved her, didn't even look to see what happened to her. And then he drove home high on Adderall. That's my theory. That sounds, pretty good. that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Oh, this was interesting because I did see Kumia's show. Uh, Kumia had an FBI buddy on his show. The white girl was beating the guy and the cops didn't arrest her right before death. Reminds me of the vlogger who wipes his mascara when crying. Yeah, that was interesting, Kumia. It wasn't right before death. It, that could have been weeks before death. I think it was a couple weeks. Yeah, this guy's making it sound like it happened an hour ago. This is the problem with people who watch our shit sending us all their facts. Don't ever go by that. The, the free research is usually worth about what you pay for it. And they they have a million mistakes. And then you email them back. You go, it wasn't right before. And he goes, oh, I don't know. I thought it was. Well, I'm not going to say that on my show. Uh, but, yeah, they had a bunch of fucking dumb fights, as one does when they're – traveling in a tiny box across America. Uh, I don't think that fight was that relevant though. I mean, everyone has fights, especially at that age. But he had like, he had like claw, I think claw marks on his face. Like he definitely had scratches on his face. Yeah. In the, it's uh, called dating a chick. Mm, I've never scratched anybody's face up. Well, you're the a freak exception then. I had my wife when we were dating, I would just let her punch me 12 times and then I would punch her back once. So as she was pounding me, I'd be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, bang! One, two, three, four. That's, I think, pretty fair. <laughs> Man, I haven't hit enough people. Have you never physically attacked your boyfriend no. under any circumstances? No. Yeah, is that? I guess that's weird. I never I would want to do that because that doesn't solve anything. No, it's not rational. But what female behavior is? Hmm, true. No, I don't do that. Like, uh, I don't know. What do I do that's crazy? Cry because you had a dream that he I cheated cry. on you? I cry. Yes, yeah, that I've done. <laughs> and then I wake up, I'm like in it, and I'm like really upset. I'm like, it was, it was really lifelike. 